Okay. Um, Anthony, any question? You can you can put it on the chat also if you do have. Okay. Okay. So let's um, let's continue. So we looked at um, you know. Uh, okay. No problem, Anthony. That's fine. Right. Okay. So we looked at uh, how. Um, you know, it is our responsibility to renew the mind. Okay, so uh, why is it our responsibility to renew the mind? See, all these things that we need to do, all this casting down, <laughs> why is it our responsibility? You think about that. Why can't we pray it away? You know? Why can't we say, Lord, just renew my mind, Lord? Yeah, so why? That's a, that's a question. You know, why is it that, why is it our responsibility and not any other? It's a? Our actions, mm. our actions. Yeah, you want you you want to use the mic? Um, yeah. yeah, from the beginning. <laughs> so sometimes, like our, uh, our thoughts can actually take us into the past, and God is telling that don't dwell in the past. It can manipulate our emotions, our actions also. So we can, can fall into the things. Right, right. <laughs> But yeah, no, I, I agree. All this is right. But why is it that I need to do it? I, I think I think kind of you are. Yeah, it's our mind. I think you answered it because it is. He has given us free will, right? He has given us the power of choice. He has given us free will. It's our mind. So he, while he will suggest and you know make that environment conducive, etc. Uh, maybe even you know send people quicken the word to us, um, uh, lead us by Holy Spirit. We have to actually take it and actually do this, right? Because it's it's our mind, right? It's free will. So this whole transformation and everything, it it has to be you know it has to be something that we do and not something that we can wish away or something that we can even you know pray and say, Lord. You know, take away these thoughts, right? It's because it's not the Lord who's giving us these thoughts. You know, take away. We can pray. We can pray, but to pray, Lord, take away these thoughts is something Lord will turn around and say, "Okay, now you do it." Right? So, yeah. So we can we can just pray for His grace. We can pray, Lord, I'm willing, uh, and I'm sure you know the Lord will give us the ability, right? Um, yeah. Jesus defeated the powers of darkness on the cross. So uh, we, therefore, we. Uh -huh. no, 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 no. We can definitely pray, but uh, yeah. We, instead of um, no, it's not praying versus commanding. Here, it's actually since it's uh, it's our mind, it's our thoughts, and since He has given us free will. So uh, when I say pray, I'm saying you know we can't ask the Lord and say Lord. Somehow change my mindset, right? So the Lord will uh, definitely, you know, He will. It's our it's our choice. Is he, he will definitely, you know, uh, like share His thoughts, share His ideas, um, quicken, you know, His thoughts, revelation, give us revelation. But unless and until I take it and make it mine, here, like we what we see, unless I renew, make new my mind with what He gives me. Like unless I forsake some of those old ways of thinking or which are unrighteous carnal and take on these new thoughts or new ways which are new in the sense the truth which God is providing, then there's no 
transformation then there's no renewal of the mind okay um, like uh, if you look at um, you know colossians 3 and verse 12 okay colossians 3 um, let's say verse 9 okay colossians oh no no colossians 3 verse 8 Okay, so well, Colossians three verse eight says, "Now you yourselves are to put off." Okay, do you see that? Colossians three verse eight. Now you yourselves are to put off. Okay, these, and there's a big list. Okay, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, etc. Okay, and then. you have put on the new man right verse 12 says therefore as the elect of god holy and loved put on tender mercies put on kindness humility meekness long suffering etc so there is there are some things that we need to put off he says you yourselves are to put off and then exhorting us to put on right so we can say okay i need to put off certain things i need to put on or take on certain things the same you know applies for in the even it comes to renewing our mind renewing our mind in a simple way is to put off okay put off things that are carnal put off things that are unrighteous and to take on okay take on things that are good and holy and and so on right um tender mercies meekness etc so so that that is something that we need to do on a daily basis right with the help of the holy spirit like he's not saying okay now you're alone on your own solo do it no the holy spirit is there god the holy spirit is there to actually give us warn us check us to say that this is wrong you know this is not something that you need to be getting into this is not something that you need to you know maybe what what influence okay a question what influences our thoughts what influences our thoughts our thinking there are many sources right um our desires okay so it could be something motives okay so these are some things in, internally right our desires our motives these influence our thoughts um okay. so what what thoughts like yeah in the sense uh, what really influences our thinking you know, we think about certain things right so what really influences that what influences that what in, what inspires you know when i say influence it could be a good influence bad influence right positive negative okay so jackin says what we believe what we watch what we listen so um yeah so certain external factors you know jackin has listed so what we what we see right what we see what we watch what we listen to what we you know uh, all this these these are some of the uh, so practically speaking these are these you know we are getting this input and that influences us right influences our thinking so in in my in my wanting to put on and put off i need to be careful okay what are the sources okay what are the sources see it's not you know there's that song which goes by pink floyd no uh, i don't need no education i don't need no thought control have you heard that song like uh, no okay very old song uh, popular group but you know those that's the lyrics i don't need no thought control you know saying don't tell me to control my thoughts but the fact is this you know these are things that influence unless we change our influence okay it doesn't mean that don't see that the other extreme don't see don't listen no be discerning of what you see because what you're seeing is influencing your thought be discerning of what you watch be discerning of what you're listening to because that is influencing your thought for the better or for the worse if it is for the worse 
then it's going to result in action, lifestyle, behavior, destiny that's going to change. If it's for the good, then you know it's you're sowing to the spirit. It's going to result in you know a spiritual mind which is life and peace. So, with that in mind, you know, just that. Okay, can I be discerning in the source of what influences my thinking? Okay, very important, right? Okay, so um, Philippians four and verse eight. Um, so we just looked at okay, what is renewal? Renewing of the mind, renovating of the mind. In a simple way, it is to take on and to put off. Okay. Um, Philippians 4 and verse 8 says, Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there is any virtue and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Okay, so what is meditate on these things? Think deeply, ponder, reflect. Think over and over again, right? And the Old Testament way of uh, meditating, even mutter softly, speak it over so that you hear it and you know it's there influencing your mind and you're seeing it, right? So th that's the list: true, noble, just, etc. Okay. So the question is this: What if there is a problem and I need to solve a problem? Right? And I need to analyze the problem. Won't you think of negative things? S something preventive, you know. You no, know, if there is a problem that you need to solve, and uh, you know, you're you're thinking of what can go wrong, what will go wrong, right? You, so let's say you're planning things. So is it wrong to think of such things? Because it's, scripture is clear, whatever things are true, pure, holy, you think about this, meditate on those things. Yeah. And so, why? Uh, being proactive. Mm. proactive, yes. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so the thing is, the focus, the emphasis is on solving something, avoiding a pitfall, solving. See, we are we are talking about all the negative things here, right? But the focus is on solving something, right? Uh, bringing a solution, bringing a positive change, and therefore we are thinking about even negative outcomes and so on, right? We're not dwelling on it. We're not meditating on it, right? Because the thing is, you know. That's the thing, you know. How, how can I just think on happy, you know, things? But I see, you know, negative things happening, problems happening in the world, and I need to study them and I need to look into them in order to solve them, right? So the emphasis is on solving. Emphasis is on bringing that change, and with that, I look into the problems, right, and not get getting swallowed up by it. Right, which means the mind is completely, you know, uh, overwhelmed by it. No, but with the with the intention of solving. Okay, with the intention of show, intention of sorry, bringing change. Okay, which is the next topic? Which is uh, okay. Um, it depends on what is uppermost in the mind. Yeah. Mm. Um, so it's about um, so when we are thinking of negative things, what is uppermost in the mind? Um, can you just explain that, Nina, uh, a little bit more? Um, if the intent is to solve, is that what is uppermost? If the intent is uh, to... Yes, first. Can you hear me? Oh, sorry. I'm not able to hear. Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead, please. Can you hear me now? Yeah. OK. So yeah, I was just thinking about the whole uh, exercise about when what you were saying about um this putting on and putting off in Colossians. Yeah. yeah. So I was just uh, I mean I was just thinking about that. I mean I was wondering whether how easy that would be at, at that at that particular given point of time. Maybe it would not be easy unless it is something that is already there in the mind. Now the other verses which talk about, you know, it's not so much about thinking about a good thing at that particular point of time, but what is already there in the mind. 
because mm. we have been dwelling on things so because one verse says yes set your minds on things above mm. so if our mind has been trained in that way being right. renewed so when the problem comes mm. we will think about that what right. is already there in the mind because we have, our minds are trained in that way and mm. in the, at the end of that list of putting on putting on and uh, uh, putting off um yeah. the, at the end of it it's the 18th verse it says let the word of god dwell richly right that's good of god so right. if that is so then what is uppermost in the mind at that point of time will be the word of god and right. it, it will help us and say okay this is what you need to do at this point of time mm. i mean hopefully mm. we will not be dilly dallying at that time because our right. mind has been trained in a particular mm. way and then it helps us to solve the problems yeah so even momentarily if we might be taken aback oh this is what has happened mm. but when we just settle down and say no this is not this is not it i'm not going to react this way i let, let me just uh, be still and i know that okay this is what i need to do right so that will help us i thought i mean yeah 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 i think thank you and you know i think that's a that's a good perspective right um, especially verse 16 if the word of god is word of christ is dwelling in us um richly then what comes out is what is uppermost and also it is um it also you know um uh, results in transformation when we bring about uh, uh, you know we look at it through the through the eyes of scripture and through the eyes of faith yeah okay so which brings us to the next topic which is uh, to have a positive mindset or if if we don't have a positive mindset if we are people who are uh, you know constantly yeah okay francis sorry yeah go, go ahead sir i have question like getting transformed mind getting transformed mind okay renew your mind okay uh, i know brother share experience with me and he saved um, Like before his inauguration, one couple and the boy. Right. So after this, like, uh, he says, and again, his thoughts are coming. Mm. He's trying to avoid that. Okay. Like he pray. Um. He like all of the things he saw. Like after the daughter, this he felt like very depressed. He starts screaming and all. Mm. So even for me, like this happened. So I, I mean, the addictions and all. Hmm. Uh, but after taking the battle, it's not good. Right. being said mm. felt like a lot of temptation even i used to like scream buying something mm. but, right like, avoid giving in like, right ah uh, mm-hmm. so the doctor also that yeah so it's a battle like we said you know it is a battle and the bible talks about strongholds you know these are you know this is a typical um you know thing of a stronghold where you know when you say stronghold we are thinking about we talking about thoughts you know our thoughts are aligned with emotions thoughts come with emotions thoughts come with something visual pictures also so a stronghold we can say is a is a big building is a big fortress where every brick is like a like a thought along with an emotion along with a you know imagination and it's so strong okay so now when we come to christ okay, we have experienced freedom now either the stronghold could be there okay which means it it was unaddressed and now it needs to be dealt with where you know those those desires are still there it's drawing us away and that stronghold is still there okay all those thoughts are there all those imaginations are there and that needs to be replaced okay so the stronghold of addiction may be stronghold of a you know wrong thinking pattern maybe uh, a stronghold could be an attitude also right uh, a very strong attitude and it's it's there it is unrighteous now that needs to come down okay that needs to be pulled down um so just because i come to christ yes there is freedom yes i am set free because he is the very reason he's anointed and come and ministered is to set the captives free so i have experienced freedom but if these strongholds are not dealt with okay or these thought patterns are not changed then i continue to experience this kind of a struggle right so that is one thing also second thing is also the enemy attacks the enemy doesn't want us 
who were previously in his territory in his his child he doesn't want to be a child of god right so the enemy tries to at various points tries to do certain things to bring us down right so that's 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 the second thing that happens so so here's a good thing the the good news is that transformation is possible it is it it need not be a long drawn process it is something if we can do we can be intentional about it and every time we read the scripture we read the truth on who we are okay we just say okay this is who i am right and every time there is a you know there is an it's like a onslaught like an attack a wave of these thoughts suggestions coming you know we we don't we we don't necessarily have to just you know just be passive right we should rise up and say okay i'm not going to think about it i'm not i'm not even going to you know entertain this the, the sometimes what we do is we we give it a lot of we suddenly we taken aback hey i am a believer and i'm doing all this and this is coming maybe something's wrong with me no it's just coming satan is trying his best to pull me down don't even give it weightage don't even give it importance you know that's one way to just let it go saying okay i'm not going to think about this it's not important for me i've got important other other things i'm not even going to think about them right and intentionally when we put on and put off every day not when those thoughts come not when we have temptation but when we are at our strongest when we are really enjoying god you know when we are uh in faith and doing things that matters and we are really enjoying you know delighting ourselves in god that is a time to strengthen ourselves strengthen our thoughts and strengthen our you know thought life in god and say okay you know these things are not mine you know i'm not and to even verbally say it um and and then we will see that change happen so yeah so it's not impossible it is possible is it a is it a struggle yes you know it's it's challenging it's a challenge but good god and uh, his word and the spirit yeah and the anointing of the holy spirit it is possible to overcome and change yeah so that's the thing so many times um, people feel that okay i'm all alone i'm just going through this something's wrong with me maybe i'm backslidden and all that no it's an attack or it's an unrenewed you know it's a, it's a stronghold which is needs to be dealt with we can deal with it yeah 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 so is a mic on yeah is a mic on yeah okay so um uh, the boy he is going through on uh, mobile addictions and all so he asked me like he want to overcome the addiction but he is feeling which are doing this like he is doing it he is against god he is feeling very ഇൻ <laughs> you know 1 john 1 9 is something that over and over again you know which which is true you know if we confess he is faithful okay so if we confess us in he is faithful which means we go back to him the thing is difficult thing is to go back to him right when we have fallen uh, that's the most difficult thing we, we just hitting ourselves and saying okay this is the 10th time this is the 11th time this is the 100th time how how can i go back but when we go back you know that's what the prodigal also did you know he's like uh, you know he was so so he came to himself and then he said no no i have to go back this time i have to go back i've gone so low so 1 john 1:9 it says you know if we confess he is faithful so just remind we just you just need to remind ourselves take a hold of that if i if i confess um i am you know he is faithful and therefore i will go and he is faithful to forgive me of all unrighteousness all unrighteousness so all those words are important you know in that in that scripture i take it and the derived strength from it and i go for it the other thing is also this that i need to know what i have become as a new creation as long as i keep saying you know i am a sinner i am a sinner i am a sinner i will be a sinner 
i will give in to acts of sin right so i need to you know be strong in who have i become what has christ made me and what is he speaking over me what does scripture declare over me like even when i'm in the lowest moments you know things like uh, let's say you you take romans chapter 6 okay um you know romans 6 and verse 2 said certainly not how shall we who died to sin you know uh, live any longer in it okay so which means that i tell myself hey, i have died to sin i have died to this this addiction i have died to it okay, you may not feel like it you may you may feel like oh i'm so alive to this addiction i'm so alive to this thing but you say no no this is what it is i have died this is a spiritual reality it needs to manifest in my life in my in my in how i live my life okay then going uh, going on you know it, it goes on to say um you know do not let sin reign in your body do not present your members as instruments of unrighteousness to sin so these are things some practical things to do what are those triggers right like we said what are those external things that are influencing my thoughts um maybe some apps that i have on my phone maybe i need to just uninstall those things you know oh but how, how can i uninstall youtube <laughs> how will i do my research <laughs> uninstall it you know inst- without instagram story how will i keep in touch with the world how will i just in- uninstall it facebook uninstall it right then you will realize that hey there's so much freedom now suddenly why because i'm not being influenced i'm not being drawn because the, sometimes it just happens as a as a you know habit you have it on the screen it's just the second screen or you know it also um you just go there you know because it's not like you want to you just don't have anything else to do and you just go there and then it just starts the whole thing so right? so some practical things what are those triggers can i do anything to avoid those triggers can i do anything to cut away those triggers that's it then you know verse 14 is it's it's about the spiritual position verse 14 says for sin shall not have dominion over you for you are not under law but under grace you know the thing is either it's a lie or a truth and we know it's god's word it's a truth saying sin shall not have dominion over you so it's, it doesn't say what particular sin any sin anything that is energized which comes from satan shall not have dominion over you dominion means it will not boss over you it will not dominate you which means you will dominate sin right and that is why it says verse 22 having been set free from sin right and having become slaves of god so it's all about what has happened on the cross having been set free from sin having become slaves of god you have your fruit to holiness and the end everlasting life so saying this is what has happened i have been set free i have become i'm not a slave of sin but i'm a slave of this wonderful god i'm a slave of righteousness right so these are positions that uh, i need to be strong in every day right maybe others are not intentionally pursuing as much as you are as much as you know this person is but we need to be that because this is something that i've come out of and these are some things that i need to be strong in also something to avoid is having come out of it we need to be a little careful saying okay others may not be as careful you know about these areas but then i need to be careful you know i've just come out, i've come out of it maybe you know god has given me victory i need to pursue walk in that victory so i'm going to be careful you know things like that i'm not going to be and be uh, you know two two things moments of great victory moments of great like great triumph or great loss both those uh, emotional moments we need to be careful like moments of great victory we can lower our guard you know we can relax and say oh i'm fine i'm confident i'm good moments of great loss when we are emotionally low we say okay you know everything is lost and then we kind of open the door you know to feel good uh, 
so so those are some things that um, that will really help us and it's not a one day thing it's to you know it's a thing and also to come out you know the thing is shame keeps us chained to the sin and it's great that somebody's spoken to you about it right uh, many times we suffer silently because of shame and that shame even energizes even more to be in that same place and not come out of it but the moment we share with a, you know maybe some trusted uh people um mature people and then we say okay you know you help me pray then we see that the moment light shines darkness has to go right so yeah that's the thing yeah okay 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 so um yeah so we were talking about you know what we need to meditate on and these are positive things like good things good report yes there there will be times when we need to you know analyze and we need to solve uh, so we we will be you know dwelling on some negative things but with what you know with the with the change in mind with the solution in mind right okay so see what happens is um, sometimes because of our life experience okay um we are either pessimistic which means constantly think of the worst scenario or we are very optimistic right it's it's just it's just like uh, how we look at uh, this thing this has you know either it's half full or half empty right both are true but then our perspective is it changes the whole thing right a pessimistic thing is it if it affects your emotion and uh, yes it is half empty i wish it was full uh, the optimistic one will be uh, at least it's half yeah half full and i have it you know so, and then your emotions are influenced by it you're like wow i'm rejoicing i'm thankful i'm grateful to god at least it's half you know full kind of thing right so to have a positive mind set which means my thought patterns are set uh to be positive right now that's a that's a lifestyle that's a habit right it doesn't come naturally okay like for example if you look at the 10 spies who went out numbers 13 right so 10 spies they all saw the very same thing it was the scenario was the same they saw the giants they saw the good of the land they saw what was uh, what is the problem but they came out uh, and then when they gave the report it's, it's very different right so the two of them are saying hey this is god has promised god has said we are well able to overcome let's go do it but the others sorry the 12 spies 12 spies i said 10 spies 12 spies so the 10 saw it negatively they said that we were like grasshoppers in our own eyes okay so so it was in our, in their thinking in their mindset it was like we were like grasshoppers you know, they saw themselves as somebody very insignificant very insignificant as like insects like we were like grasshoppers in our own eyes but the others the other two they saw that it's fine you know there are giants yes but we can conquer okay so so the thing is we will always face giants we will always face mountains right spiritual you know ministry life everything we will we will there will be problems so how do we look at that problem you know do we see it as something that god can solve because he has the answers or do we see it as something that's going to you know destroy everything in our lives you know that's going to just give us a crushing defeat in our lives right so that depends again on us right so just like how we take on take off just like how we renew our mind renovate our mind thinking this is also important you know when we see those problems how do we see our problems you know we can we can either surrender and say okay that is it i'm finished or we can choose to look at it yes it is a problem you know pro- seeing a problem or a challenge uh, with a positive mindset does not mean that you're not real okay sometimes we think no we think okay what what problem there's no problem what pain there's no pain what sickness there's no sickness no that is not correct no that is that is a lie that is avoiding the truth right that is avoiding the fact 
the thing is when you, know, you have to say a positive when you have a positive mindset or develop a positive mindset it is to acknowledge yes there is a problem right yes this is the situation this is the problem this is the challenge but i'm seeing it as how god sees it i'm seeing it through the promises of god's word through the scripture right this is what god's word says about this now that's very very important you know i'm seeing it so that is why you know who we are in christ what we have become in christ because of the cross of christ is very very important you know we can never lose sight of that right because if we lose sight of that we lose sight of our identity we lose you know the that changes the way we relate to people that changes the way we relate to god that changes the way we relate to even problems situations powers of darkness everything changes when we lose sight of what we have become in christ jesus right so that's a very important thing okay any questions here um before we move on to the next uh, chapter any any questions okay uh online folks any any question do you have a question okay of ourselves also about everything that we face but when we are trying to do it but what the opposite is happening yeah see the thing is oh if i look positive the negative will happen <laughs> i see Okay, now I'm trusting God. This will, this thing, this thing will work out. But it didn't. Like same, like it's hard for us. Uh, like as a human being, to come out of experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the thing, yeah. So the thing is this. See that that challenge, that and and problem that you faced, it's still the same, right? The magnitude of it, whatever challenge was there. So the best way to face it is with a positive mindset, with a faith mindset, right? So that you can be an overcomer. Okay, there were certain things that maybe there are too many factors, right? There are certain things that didn't happen. Now, that doesn't mean that I can give up. I should give up, right? So okay, let's look at it the other way. Okay, now I'm going with a negative mindset. Okay, I'm not going with faith. I'm looking at negativity. Now what happens? What changes? Is there anything? You know, is, is, does anything better happen? Do I get any benefit out of it? Yeah. So might as well go with the positive mindset, with the faith, faith uh, mindset, and uh, and see the you know believe God do the you know um, to do to do impossible. That is one thing. And also you know where I change. Right, I I begin to change, and I look at problems in a different way. I look at them as opportunities for God's grace to cover. I look at opportunities for God's supernatural power to be made manifest. We begin to look at it as opportunities to even, you know, build bridges with people. Yeah. So so that's the thing. Can we hold on to regrets? Okay, so that we don't repeat the mistake. Hmm. Good question. I let the class answer. Okay, the question is: Can we hold on to regrets? What are the five? Give us five advantages of. <laughs> what are the five benefits of holding on to regrets? I think that's the question, right? Um, okay, I think um, yeah. Prince's point is, you know, if we forget. What happened? You know, maybe I will repeat that same mistake, right? Mm. Yeah. So, what do you think? Will it will it affect our inner wholeness? Holding on to regrets definitely will, guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> 
definitely it's going to affect our state of mind it's going to affect our you know the way we look at ourselves definitely because you what are we doing it's like a wound that is not healing you know we put bandaid for some time ripped it out uh, it's like uh, you know we scratch it again <laughs> you know that scab is forming when we, when we when we were kids we did it right oh just pull it out and then again it bled and it took a long time to heal so it's that yeah okay so see definitely we should learn from it. that's why you know this having this positive mindset um is something is faith mindset is uh, is important is outlook is important because um see we definitely there will be times when we have done something said something and we regret it okay but what have we learned from it okay what have we learned from it okay there's an important lesson that i should not repeat that mistake okay uh, i've learned that lesson okay fine now i'm going to employ that lesson in whatever in future i'm going to because of that lesson that i've learned i'm going to do that i'm going to be careful i'm going to be maybe honorable whatever right but that regret you know i'm not going to hold on to that that shame that came with that that guilt and condemnation that came with that i'm going to go to god i'm going to present my members to god romans chapter 6 uh, as one who has come alive i'm going to present myself myself to god and the healer will do his work right he will heal he is going to in fact we have asked for forgiveness and we have, you know and there's no point in holding on to what he is forgiven the scripture says he is even forgotten you know if there's such a thing you know so what what should i why should i hold on i've learned my lesson i hold on to the lesson right but not to the pain and shame that comes with regret so that would be a i mean that would be my way of dealing with a uh, thing yeah yeah but it's because it's already a painful world <laughs> you know the fallen world is painful why why should we add on to it right um and uh the kingdom of god is righteousness peace and joy in the holy spirit let's never forget that yeah righteousness peace joy these are good things and um james chapter you know just, just, the scripture that we saw just now uh philippians 4 sorry philippians 4 verse 8 he says meditate on these things these are and regret is not one of that you know so yeah so we do we go with what the word of god says and when we go with that there is always spirit and life life and peace right and so we go with that it's um, yeah so that's the thing okay i think we'll stop here it's been a little heavy <laughs> um so we we'll, we can stop here maybe we can just pray we can spend some time praying um um we can even you know let go of certain things you know put on certain things take off put off certain things that are troubling our our thoughts our mind and you know um so we can just pray it takes let's take some time to do that right okay 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 mm. father we thank you uh we thank you lord we thank you for the freedom that we have in you lord we thank you for where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty lord we thank you for progressively lord taking us into freedom lord uh, holy spirit you lead us into truth god and the truth sets us free lord jesus we thank you father god uh, based on what we learned today master i pray that each one of us lord in our thought life father i pray it will be a liberating thriving flourishing thought life father god that we will forsake god unrighteous uh, self limiting self defeating carnal uh, thoughts o oh god lord i pray that uh, our thoughts will be thoughts of life and peace lord that our minds will be we will be, we'll be of people with a spiritual mindset um yes master and i just pray father give us the uh, um i pray that you'll anoint us today and energize empower us to do this very thing that you've asked us to do father god and i just pray that wherever there is hopelessness lord wherever there has been a lie or any inroads of the enemy in the mighty name of jesus i take authority and uh, uh, i just cancel 
the work of the enemy, every lie, deception, every inroad of the enemy, I cancel it in the name of Jesus and let the light of the truth of God shine, um, setting us free in the name of Jesus. Yeah, let there be liberty, let there be freedom, let there be a, um, the work of righteousness established in each one of us, God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father. I just pray, Father God, for our imaginations and our thought life to really flourish, Father God. I pray for heaviness, for the spirit of heaviness to be broken in Jesus' name. And I pray that we will be clothed with garments of praise, Father God. Let there be a freedom, Lord. Let there be a weight taken off right now. Let there be clarity in our thoughts, Father God. I just pray for that heaviness and oppressiveness and that uh, on that, um, Lord, the fuzziness of mind and thoughts, let it be taken away right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Father God, enable us to sustain and walk in victory. Walk in the victory that you've already provided for us. We thank you. We give you all the praise, all the glory. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, thank you. We'll catch up again next week. God bless. Bye-bye.